Hey everybody, today I want to give you an update on a series we've been doing about building sites on high level and then renting them out to local businesses. Not selling them, we're actually renting out our own websites to local business owners and I want to show you an update on one of the case studies we've been doing on this channel for our Katie Concrete Service website. Now please don't fill out the forms on this, don't call the phone number. I do this in public just to teach you guys what we're doing in our business, but this is an active site we're trying to I use as something that we're going to rent out as well. So please respect that uh, side of it. Now, I want to give you a major update. We have some exciting news on this. We have built this site over the course of the past six months, maybe a little bit longer. We've done case studies on the site showing you from step by step how we got this site up. We started ranking it. We even had an SEO expert come on and kind of pick it apart and tell me some things that I need to do to improve. And I am learning as we go. That's something I've always wanted to do. Why I like this model is because it is essentially digital real estate. So I can build something online using high level, and then I can rent this out as my own rental property. And if that particular business owner decides not to pay or they want to move on or do something, I haven't wasted all of that work. I can then just take that site and rent it out to another business owner. So oftentimes with rental properties, I'm in real estate as well. And sometimes if you can get a property that you've spent $200,000 on, to give you a cash flow of a couple hundred dollars a month, that is somewhat of a win. With this, I can basically create it with nothing, just my monthly membership to high level. I can rank this site, and I plan on renting this site out for probably $150 to $250 per week, so around $1,000 per month. We're still doing a little bit to get some more traffic to the site, but we already have a case study today. I'm going to show you where we actually got some leads on here, sent them out to a local concrete company and they closed that business and got paid so they're looking like they're going to be the prospect that rents this out but i'll let you know once that happens so let me show you what we did here so this is a lead that came in and it came in on let's see august 19th and you can see they searched on google and they searched for a city near us called fullshire and i'll show you that as well on the site so they searched just Fullshire Concrete. Our site came up. They filled out the contact form on our site, which I'll show you that. So they went to this page right here, and they filled out this contact form telling us what they needed done. And you can see they said, looking for a 4 by 8 ish concrete pad on the side of our home in Fullshire, Texas. I also would like to quote to extend the driveway um, width about 2 feet if possible. The quotes can be provided separately. Thank you. So I got this in a form. We sent an email to the person, but they didn't respond to that. So I responded via text the next day, said, good morning, Chris. This is Jason with Katie Concrete. Just your message from last night. Do you still need a quote on those two projects in full? Sure, thanks. He said, yes, sir, thank you. I said, I think this is our AI that was responding. So I ended up stepping in a little bit later and, and um, responding to him. But we ended up getting him on the phone. And then I found a concrete company in the area that I had been kind of courting, talking to about potentially sending leads to and sent him the lead. He immediately followed up, which is great. It's been a major challenge, honestly, if I'm giving you the full story of finding a concrete company that is dependable. I've gotten a bunch that say, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. And as soon as I send them the lead, they like disappear for a day. And then I follow up with them and say, how did that lead go? And they say, oh, I haven't called them yet. So it was very frustrating to get to this point. But now we've got this company and they've done a great job. A couple days after I sent him the lead, he was messaging me back and forth in between, but I got this message that says, hi, Jason, just to let you know, we did the small slab for Chris. He sent me pictures of the job, said, awesome, glad it worked out. I'll have some more jobs, hopefully bigger soon. Sounds great. You just let us know and we'll follow up. So great company. They've been very dependable to, to follow up with. And I'm really excited to, to work with them and see how this goes. Now, where I have it with them is I'm going to probably send them one or two more deals because our lead flow still hasn't been massive. We've been getting maybe one to two leads a week. And I'd like that to really be like four or five a week before I can rent this out. So right now I'm just sending a few more free leads to him. If he gets a major job, this job, he didn't make a ton of profit on. It was a pretty small job. So if I can get at least another 10 or $15,000 job for him, that would be awesome. And then I could call him up and say, okay, now let's talk business. I want to rent this out to you on a weekly basis. The reason I want to do weekly is because that helps with cash flow for them. Oftentimes these guys have crews and they're paying out and money's coming in, money's going out. 
So to have them drop a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks uh, a month versus two or three hundred bucks a week, it's a lot easier for them cash flow wise. And I can see if at some point, you know, he's didn't pay for a week and then he's kind of slow paying me on the rest or his credit card gets declined, then I'll be able to swap him out for somebody else. But seems like a pretty legit guy so far. So we'll see how it goes. Now, one other big thing that happened on that conversation with him is he told me some of the biggest, best jobs that he's getting is ironically for pickleball courts. And a pickleball is a sport that I like playing, but never really thought of it in the concrete context till he told me that. He said they're charging like around twenty five, thirty thousand dollars maybe a little more, I can't remember exactly, for these courts, and they're making a pretty good margin. They do the entire leveling of the ground, they do the, the concrete pouring, they do the painting, they even install the the net and the, the side fences if they want that. And they have a couple different packages that they offer. So I thought today what I'd do is actually add a page for our website for uh, Pickleball. So you can see on the pages that we have, we have residential driveways, concrete driveways, stamped concrete, walkways, pool decks, garage floors, hot tubs, storage sheds. I'm going to add one more tab here for Pickleball. And then he, I saw a couple others on his site too. So Pickleball courts, concrete retaining walls, and concrete culvert installation. So that little drain at the edge of the, the street um, that a lot of people have to go over their driveway. That is something that I'm going to build a page for on our site too. But today I'm just going to focus on the pickleball court. So what I want to do is go to our site and I'm going to do a couple things first. I'm going to show you, this is the back end. Let me shrink my head down here. So here are all the pages that I've created so far. And all I really need to do, because I have the same format for pretty much every site, if I bring you back to that, and show you our residential patios. This has a headline, some text, the form on the right. Um, let's see, concrete driveway, same thing. So what I'm going to do is get most of this content created via ChatGPT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this text here, and I want to go show you how I'm interacting with chat here. So I'm going to, I always start mine and say, hey chat, let's see. I need some help with content for my website, Katie Con Service. Then I'm going to say, I'm going to upload one, whoops, one of our posts so you can see the format we use. Okay, so I paste that in there. Now I'm gonna say, I need an SEO optimized post for the term pickleball court installation. Then Chad is going to write that content for me. Now we can do this in high level as well. I've been really using ChatGPT mostly because I can kind of go bounce back and forth. It's a little bit easier, but if you just need like headlines redone or a small paragraph, I'll show you how I do it in high level as well. So you can see they're basically modeling after our other post and creating all of the stuff that we need right now. Awesome. And they've even highlighted or bolded this because that is going to be one of the terms that we're trying to search for. And they have Katy, Texas. So looks like all that we need. They even um, gave us some other internal links, Decorative Concrete, which is another page that we have, and Pickleball Quartz. So we're going to um, show you a little bit of internal linking as well. But first, I'm going to take the headline here. I'm going to go back. All I have to do is duplicate one of these pages. So I'm going to clone this page, clone page in this website. And it should be down at the bottom. I'm going to edit. So Concrete Patio Service in Katy, Texas. I'm going to do Pickleball Installation in Katy, Texas. I'll go back to chat. I'm going to copy all this content here and I'll go here and I'm going to replace this. Now, one thing when I pasted, it kind of messes up the format here. So I'm going to just kind of fix this real quick. All right, so I've gone through the content, just kind of cleaned it up, added some bold and spacing just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Honestly, most people don't read all of this content. They're just landing on the page, making sure it looks legitimate and filling out the contact form. But we want this to rank on Google, so that's why I wanted to just add some content to this page. Now, one thing we'll do is some internal linking. So we're going to link things like this at Katie Concrete Service. I'm going to make that a link to our homepage. 
Okay. And then I'm also going to just find a couple other opportunities here to link internally. I believe there was one that said something about uh, decorative concrete. Here we go. So we're going to link that to, let's find which one it is, decorative and stamped. So I'll take that link, whoops, and copy it here. It was just giving us a little bit of SEO juice where if Google lands on this decorative stamped concrete page, that will link to other pages. If they land on this page, it'll link to the decorative and stamped. And then all of them end up linking in some way to this Kitty Concrete service. So it just creates a little bit of internal linking there. Now, I'm no SEO expert. I'm learning as we go, but I have gotten this site ranked using high level and we're starting to get leads. So I'm excited about this. So I think that's good for now. Let's hit save and then publish and then we'll preview the page. Just check it out and make sure we're okay. Cool. So we got that. Awesome. So everything looks good here. Uh, one other thing I need to do is just put that into our header here and make sure that you see these menu items. So we need to add another residential menu item. So we do that by down here clicking add item. Then we're going to go to page and that page is oh, here. Residential patio clone. We're going to clean that up in a second. I forgot to do that. So hit submit. And then we need to, you see how it says new menu here. I need to change the title to pickleball court installation. I feel like I'm misspelling that. Okay, we're good. All right, so hit submit. Now you can see it's added the menu here. What I need to do is drag this up where it is underneath our residential. Perfect. Now, if I hit save and preview it one more time, and you can see it says global section change. That, mean, that means that this header is on all of the pages in my site. So if I make a change to this one, it will change all of them, which is what I want. So I hit save, and then I'll preview this site and just make sure that that is in our drop down here. Yes, it is. Perfect. Now, last thing, we're going to just change what the link is. So I'm gonna go back, hit publish one more time just to be safe going to fix this title here by hitting on settings. So pickleball court installation. And then I'll do that one more time here. So pickleball dash court dash installation. Now let's just go back here. We'll refresh. I'm going to go to my drop down. make sure that it goes up here to pickleball court installation. Perfect. So that is done. So it'll take a day or two for Google to see it. I could go in and force that action for Google to kind of pick up this in the search, but it'll take a day or two. If I don't see it uh, getting indexed, then I'll go and, and do some actions to do that, which I'll talk about in future videos. But just wanted to kind of show you where we are with this. I feel confident that within the next 30 days or so, we'll have this site rented out. Even if I drop the price in a little bit, I just want to move on from this one. We have multiple other sites I've been building but this is the one that we've been doing publicly. So I want to make sure that you guys can actually see some see us have some success with this. And maybe it's a business model that you want to take on as well. This is really something that I'm doing for fun. Like I said, I'm in real estate as well. So that is a focus of mine. But with high level, I've been trying to find additional ways to bring in revenue without having to take on actual clients. And this is one of the best models that I've seen. If I can have 10 or 20 of these all generating 500, 1000 bucks a month, that's pretty great for just like digital real estate that we own in in the, the ether there that we created from nothing using high level. And you can have unlimited accounts with high level. So this particular account is on one sub account of high level. You can see this Katie Concrete. Then I have a bunch of other sites on their own sub account. They have their own phone numbers, their own website, their own chat widget, everything. That way it's basically just like a little digital rental property. So I rent it out and hopefully that person continues to pay for years and years. And I own the site though. So if they ever cancel, then I can just have somebody else rent it out. And it's great. Um, so I'll talk more about this model in the future. If you guys like this content, let me know down below because I really think this is something that uh, I'm going to go heavily into in the next uh, year. So I want to make sure that uh, you guys are on board with that. And it's something that maybe you don't see other people talking about. And I like to show you just the truth about what's happening. This probably could have been rented out months ago if I made it my sole focus but I have a million other business ideas and things I'm, I'm working on. So um, definitely haven't put everything into this that I could. 
but I do want to turn that up, especially now that it's ranking, starting to get some consistent leads coming in. I think we're right there on the precipice of renting this thing out. So with that, I'm going to wrap up here. If you want to get a free 30-day trial of High Level, go to ghlfree.com. You'll land on a page that looks something like this. It might change a little bit depending on what specials High Level has, but you can get a free 30-day trial of High Level with the link down below and start this journey as well. We'll give you a ton of snapshots and all kinds of training and things that have made us successful and hopefully can help you may be successful as well. And with that, I'll wrap up and see you on the next video. Thanks.